morning. We are on the way to um, I Wade again for Paul Hurry's Speedway Training School. So that should be good fun. So uh, I've got two little Herberts in the back with me today as their school's on strike. So um, hopefully they'll be good boys and helpers today. And uh, I'll show you the track when we're there. Right, we're here at a rather uh, chilly I Wade again at the uh, Paul Hurry Speedway Training Day. So we're going to get kitted up in a minute and go and have a play. <laughs> Look, we have merch. Roy Bridges Racing. It's official. I won't be selling it, so don't worry. I'm not going to try and push it onto you. Right, so done two sessions. Um, put the bike's running well. I'm done an old change on it, so always come up. Um, good to see him and Francis and uh, yeah, done an old change on the bike um, took the speedway rear wheel out and put the um, grass one in just been out again to try it but where it's sort of geared it up I've gone up two teeth on the back now so I've been chatting to Chris and Paul um, to try and get some advice on entry corner speed and whatever yeah but, um, just having a quick uh, lunch break and grading and then we'll be going back out again so hopefully we'll uh, get some more speed up and improve as we go along but overall so far so good So we're back home now, bike's all cleaned up and tucked away in the garage. Overall it was a really good day, uh, Paul was super helpful, I spent a bit of time with him between sessions making changes to the bike, changes to my riding style and gave me some really useful uh, tips and pointers on how to improve my riding going forward. So the main aim of today was to get more confident at the top turn of the track and get it sliding around that, the bottom turn I'm not too bad at and, uh, and generally improve uh, certain areas of my riding so the main aim for me going forward now is to get my corner entry speed up and get the bike breaking away when you tip into the corner so again had a chat with Paul and Chris still on that 
uh, how to, to get the bike to break away and then what to do once the bike does break away and, and how to apply the throttle and, and body positioning and uh, you know waiting the outside foot peg etc so i got a lot um, from the session so i'd highly recommend going along to to i wade and, and doing one of paul hurry's days um so what's next for me the next meeting i'm doing is the well the season opener for me will be tallington on the 9th of april so really looking forward to that there's a big uh, rider lineup in the 500 class so paul cooper and lots of other pretty damn quick riders will be there so uh, we'll see how we get on uh, but the main aim will be just to go and have some fun, hopefully make the final and go and enjoy ourselves and again make a step with my riding. Stu will also be out on the 250, so it'd be great to see him do his first grass track meeting with us. So looking forward to seeing how he goes on the bike. Uh, and then after that, we've got the Bantasia meeting in Southampton. So I'm in the open class there on the 500 again. So I'm only going to be focusing on the 500 class this season and have the 250 as a kind of training bike and for Stu to use and then maybe a few 250 races at some of the club meetings this year as well just to see how I get on on that um, but we've got the uh, based on my gradings points from last year I should be eligible to go into the British Championship qualifier and then if that all goes to plan then have a chance at the uh, British Championships meeting later on in the year so that'll be something nice to aim for but I don't know who's going to rock up you know I might get to absolutely thrashed who knows but we'll, we'll have a good go and, and try our hardest as we always do um, so that's it from me so thanks uh, everybody at iWade it was, it was a great do and I'll see you all at Tallington on the 9th